everyone, it's Diva Makeup Queen. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. And today we have a foundation review for you, which is the brand new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And my color is Golden Beige. And so I'm wearing it right now. So I'm going to go right into demo to show you. And also I use this bad boy right here, which is also brand new, which is their corrector. It's beautiful. I put it right under the eye. It highlights everything. And also the press powder right here. And they are all new stuff. So we will see how it looks. It looks pretty good to me right now. Actually, I tried it once already, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna do a little demo. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing with my eyes, I did a really quick look and using my palette right here. So right now it's on sale if you want to check this out. It comes with a blush and a highlighter, which I'm wearing right now. And I use this color right here to blend and crease beautiful. And also this color all over the lid. That's all I used. That is all. Like really, really simple. These are magnetic, so you can kind of put in your MAC or whatever magnetic shadows you want to put in, or blush and highlighter, etc. So I will put all that information down below. So now let's go ahead and check this out. Woohoo! Here it is, the foundation. So it does come with like this spatula, which is excellent. I am going to put some in the back of my hand and then use my clean fingers to apply. I should do this side first actually, so that you can see the difference. So I should have not put um, some of that on this side, but you can still see this covers my redness really well around my nose. It's very, very natural looking. I really like it. So we're gonna go ahead and blend into this side. I have to say it blends really really well. It's very natural looking. It's a little bit dewy, so it's, that's why it looks natural. So, but it's not overly dewy and it has really nice coverage, I have to say. This foundation feels really light to the touch and it's not heavy. And it reminds me a little bit of this particular foundation, which is the not the matte and poreless, but the original one, which I threw away already because I ran out. This is the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. It has that feel like light, but nice coverage. And this may even have more coverage than this one right here. And it looks really nice. And this color actually suits me pretty well. It's pretty yellow in skin tone, which is surprising because a lot of drugstore foundations I find that are very pink in color. So they don't have the color that I wanted to find for the concealer that goes with the foundation, but I'm going to use this brand new um, foundation stick that they have from Wet n Wild. Or rather, I should say not foundation stick, concealer stick, conceal stick. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit under the eye to see how it does. So this is actually pretty light in color and I'm going to dab it with my finger. This is really a makeup artist tip for it to not cake up as to use the heat of your fingers to melt your concealer. So this looks pretty nice, I think, as a concealer and highlighting stick because it kind of highlights right here. So I could technically put a little bit here, but it's okay. Really brightening. I really like it. Now we're going to apply the powder. Unfortunately, this is my big complaint about it is that the powder names don't match up to the foundation names. And it was like really confusing for me to find. I know if this is the right color, but it will just have to work for now. So I'm going to apply to one side. See if it makes a difference between sides. So this side, I've applied this powder, and this side I have not. So it definitely seems to mattify it a little bit. Do you see? So I'm going to apply to this side now. Right now it's 3.30 p.m. right here in New York and we are going to check in with you throughout the day and see how the foundation does and how everything looks. And We'll be back. I'm at Lincoln Center right now on my way to a meeting. How's uh, my face look? Pretty good, I have to say. And uh, it's only been like an hour, so I'm looking good still. So, this is like three hours later, and it's definitely dewy looking, but it still looks pretty good. It is a winter, of course, but my train's here. Oh, that's not my train, but whatever. I'm in Manhattan. Yelled at on the train. Alright, guys, 
guys, this is five hours later. How do you think the foundation did? I think it did pretty well. It looks really good here on camera. But like the whole claim of this foundation is that, you know, it has this technology and that's been tested under multiple lighting with different women that there's no flashback. When you take a flash photography, there's like no white on your face. So I went ahead and did that and I noticed that maybe there's not a lot of flashback per se, but definitely my face looks a little bit oily. I did one that is a little bit closer and then another one that is further away. And the further away is definitely better. Um, doesn't look as oily, but you know, it has been five hours and it does look just a little bit oily and dewy. It does claim to be matte and I wouldn't say that this is matte. I wouldn't actually call it completely dewy either. I would say like semi matte, but it does look really natural and I like it. And it's only $6, which is amazing. And it comes in 20 shades. And one of the things I'm most impressed about is that it goes from like really, really light color porcelain all the way to many deep colors. And I feel like, you know, this is something that drugstore foundations especially have not done up till now. So that I'm very, very impressed about. And so this should really be a shade for just about everybody. The packaging itself, I wouldn't say is that impressive, but given that it's only $6, I think they did pretty well. I love the fact that it comes with this spatula. I think that's really easy for application. There is a strong foundation smell. It doesn't smell good per se. It smells like Revlon foundations. That's the one, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll write it right here. There's one foundation that everybody loves. It smells exactly like that. And I really like this concealer. I think it's really, really nice and natural. This is the shade, by the way, 807 Follow Your Bisque. So this works for me very well. This seems to be fine, but again, I have a problem with matching the shade. I don't even know it's the right shade. It seems to work fine with me. My overall thought is that for six bucks, this is a fantastic foundation. It is very natural. It does look pretty good on camera, but I do have to remind you for those people who have combo or oily skin, you probably need to like powder every few hours or so if you really want to look good for the camera. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty darn good foundation. So I hope that you found this this video useful and don't forget to subscribe right here and I would so appreciate if you press the like button if you enjoy this video and share it with your friends and of course check out my previous other videos and they're all linked right here and down below and thank you so much again and let me know what other videos you want to see and I'll see you next time. Bye!